had no off button. Cry all the time, whine all the time. All the time. I didn't walk him. Dragged me to the ground twice. Once on my knees and once on my butt. His crying was so much that you would end up getting frustrated with him and just him in a crate, but he wouldn't settle there either. Barking incessantly when someone would come over, he would lose his mind, something like this. He could never do that with the cat. He would lunge, and not that he wanted to hurt the cat, just he wanted, I don't know what he wanted to be honest, but this would be, I, I can't even believe that this is This happening. would never happen. No. There, there's no way. I think it was the knowing that I would never be able to walk him that didn't sit well with me because he's a dog. I don't want him to be confined to my house, to our backyard. I want to be able to take him on walks. I want him to enjoy life in the outdoors just like we enjoy it. We're going to hopefully start a family soon and I want to make sure that we have a calm dog. Make sure he listens to us and not go crazy. What did you think of the training? I watched the videos like every day he posted one, I would watch it and just to see his transformation, even that first one he posted that first day where Josh grabbed him and he went from all that crying and he just, n not necessarily walking like in the heel, but he was listening. And that's something that he's never done. Just plain listening, it's, it's, it didn't come easy with him. No. And now to see that we can walk him off leash <laughs> right next to us, yeah. Insane. Completely insane. We've seen the progression from day one to, to what he is now. It's absolutely incredible. It's so exciting. So exciting. Are you excited to take him home and keep going? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>